Yo guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well and welcome to another episode on the channel. As you can see, we are sticking with Star Citizen and in today's episode, what we're going to do is use the Hull A. Now, I pledged the Hull A back in, well, when 317 first came out, but I haven't really used it. The only thing I've done with it is get it out, look at the animation and then put it back away again. Um, as you can see, we're at New Babbage, so we will need to travel to Lawville um, and then we will get the Hull A out and we'll try and do a Laronite run and see how much money we can make. But anyway, without further ado, let's crack straight into this episode. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are back in Lawville. I've got my Hully in the hangar ready to go. Uh, like I said a minute ago, uh, or when we were at New Babbage, I haven't really used this at all. I kind of got it out. I extended extended the, uh, the cargo bit, had a look at the animation, which is absolutely cool. It's one of the reasons why I pledged the ship. Um, and the other reason is I have the Prospector already. I've got that pledged, and I needed a cargo runner to do my work orders, and I thought this would be perfect just to do the uh, a couple of work orders at a time. Um, and I, I really like this ship. It's really small, but this does extend out quite a distance. Um, also, if I do get any lag in this video, I do apologize in advance. My OBS has been playing up lately whilst recording. Um, I will look into it and hopefully future video quality will be a lot, lot better. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this thing anyway. Into the ship. That's a cool thing. I like that. All MISC ships have kind of got that similar kind of style, that similar look, haven't they? It's uh, really cool. Um, we'll have a quick look, why not? Let's have a little miniature tour before we go and do the little cargo run. So, got a bed, kitchen area, um, we've got a weapons locker, which is kind of cool. I like that, you know, I don't know, in case you get boarded, I mean, for the future, like when you're doing like long range or longer range uh, cargo running, you got that, in case you get boarded, because you will be able to steal it eventually. Um, and then you've got the bathroom in here. That's about it, really. There's not really much else to show. It is a really, really nice ship. You've got the components and stuff in here. And then there's a place there to stick your suit should you need it. And then here we are into the cockpit, which I think has really, really good visibility considering. Um, so, yeah, I really like this ship. It's it's definitely... Uh, I'm definitely happy that I pledged it. I think I'm going to go and pledge um, another one or two. And then I'm pretty much... Because I, I, I say I'm completely in love with this game. Uh, and I've been absolutely just playing it to death i can't put it down i just you know what i mean so it's uh, it's one of them games where i think you know a little bit of investment in, in real money isn't gonna hurt especially the amount of time that i play it um and i like doing a little bit of everything i would say mining is probably the primary thing just purely because of um well it makes the money doesn't it i suppose um but yeah right let's take off anyway get this laronite and see how much money we're gonna make Thank you very much. Yeah, baby. Let's do it. Can we get through that gap? Let's try. Screw it. Why not? <laughs> now, it does take a little while to get out of the atmosphere, so I won't like show you the whole thing of getting out of the atmosphere, because we'll be here a little while. But it is really cool. I do like it. Look at that view. Absolutely awesome. Love it. I suppose we should put the landing gear up, shouldn't we? <laughs> but yeah. I like it. Nice ship. Very nice ship. Alright. So I shall return in a minute when we've got out the atmosphere and we're heading to Bezdek or um, Lathan. Either one. So yeah, let's catch you in a minute, guys. Alright, guys. So we're just arriving at Lathan now. And uh, let's go and see if there's some juicy, juicy Laronite here for us. And this should make a little bit of profit. Um, we've obviously done a couple of cargo videos just lately using the Caterpillar, using the Nomad to see whether it would be worth it. Definitely using the Caterpillar is 100%. You make 100k pretty much a time, or just there and thereabouts. Sometimes it goes under 100, sometimes it goes over. But with the Nomad, yeah, I mean, it's kind of not really worth it with that. <laughs> it's like four, four, five grand profit. Uh, definitely, definitely not worth it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go to Lathan. Let's see how much we can make with this, because this has got a little bit more... Um, well, it's got, it's got a lot more SEU than the Nomad, so we should be making at least something from this. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. This, like I said, this is the first time I've used this. It's the first time I've filled this up um, with, or will be filling this up with um, uh, Laronite or any kind of cargo. Um, and I really, really, really love the animation of this ship. It is absolutely incredible. I can't stop watching it. On, you know, when I've when I've like watched it on YouTube videos and stuff like that, I just can't. I, I'm in awe of how amazing this ship is. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get that open. Well, we'll go. We'll get to Lathan first, then we'll get it open, and we'll uh, 
we'll have a little look at it because it is really really cool i'm sure most of you have seen it already but if you haven't you're in for a treat because this is a really really cool animation it really really is uh, right with 5,000 let's go a little bit faster here we'll kind of hover over it a little bit hopefully no one's uh no one's over here or hopefully no one's took all the Laranite for a start otherwise we'll have to go over to Bezdek. Okay, we can slow down a little bit now um just before we left um uh, Hurston someone target locked us actually well, I think they missile locked the target locked their missile locked so that was uh, but we managed to get out of there so hopefully they won't be there when we get back um all right so I'm gonna hover here a minute uh, actually, what we shall do is hit the button. So you hit this extend the cargo uh, spindle. It's absolutely awesome. So let's do that now. Ooh. We are spinning, but I don't really mind. <laughs> it's just the animation so cool I can live with it. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. Can't wait for the whole BCs and stuff like that to come out. No, oh, it hasn't really fully done it correctly. Damn, the animation kind of okay. So that was a little bit of a little bit of a letdown. The animation didn't quite fully do. Damn. Okay. Let's hope that this doesn't affect the cargo when we go down here to uh, collect it. That landing gear down as well. Right, in we go. Landing gear down. Landing gear down. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Let's just touch down here. Beautiful. That's really weird, though. I don't understand why the uh, why it hasn't come out properly. Strange. A bit strange. Well, let's go and get the Laranite anyway, and hopefully it uh, still puts it on nicely. But yeah, guys, if you are enjoying the content lately, um, you know, it, I, I mean, I, I'm in awe of absolutely how amazing the support's been just lately for me, actually. So, but yeah, if you have been enjoying the content, please hit that subscribe button and give me the thumbs up as well. It means so much. Uh, and it really helps me out a ton. Um, also, if you're... I know it's the free week at the moment, but if you are interested in potentially purchasing the game, the referral code is up on screen right now. It will help me out and it will help you out a ton. It will end up giving you 5,000 extra in-game credits, so absolutely awesome. And I don't know why I can see people over there. That's strange. Um, but yeah, it it's, it's an awesome game. I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, use that referral code, guys. Okay, moving on anyway, because I don't want to waffle on too long, because I, I tend to do that. I tend to waffle on quite a bit, so uh, if I tend to do that in my videos and uh, you don't like it, then uh, please please let me know, and I will try and cut it out as best as I can. <laughs> it's just, uh, I like to talk about how amazing this game is and things like that, so and I tend to go on quite a lot about it, so uh, that's just because I love it. I love it so much. All right, let's see. Please be some Laronite, please. Yes. Okay, can we fill it all up, though? We've got 64. We can. So that's 170,000 that we're spending there. So 170 and a half. Okay. Hurry up and process that water, baby. There we go. All right. 170,000 and a half, we'll say. So let's go and see what money we can make. I don't know why I can see people down there. This is kind of weird. I, it happens every now and then. I suppose they can see me as well, but thankfully they're miles away and have no hopefully no impact on us oh yeah the cargo's there so the cargo is there on the, on the screen so the animation was a bit strange it didn't quite fully do what it was meant to do but at least the cargo's there anyway and it looks cool as hell look at that that is awesome what a ship though i mean like like i said this is just so revolutionary for the uh, for the game and i really cannot wait cannot wait until the hull C's and B's and things like that come out because I'll probably end up upgrading this to the hull C. I think I think that's a nice, a nice kind of uh, nice kind of size judging from what I've been reading. Um, and I like to do cargo running every now and then. So um, okay, picked enter ship, but never mind. Sweet. Okay. All right, hundred and seventeen and a half thousand guys. So what I'll do is I'll take off and then I will. Um, come back to you when I'm landing at Lawville, or landed at Lawville. I'll catch you in a minute, guys. Okay, so yeah, we've just made it off the train, and um, let's go and sell this stuff, shall we? Let's see what uh, we make from it. Hopefully. Hopefully at least 20, 30, 
maybe 40k. I don't know. It was 170 and a half thousand that we bought it for, if I remember rightly. So yeah, fingers crossed. We'll make a good sort of 50k or so on that. But let's go find out anyway. Hopefully we'll be able to like access more of this tower eventually. It'd be kind of nice and it'd be kind of cool to go to the top of it. It'd be really cool. Like if you see the trains go up to the top and it'd just be kind of really cool to uh, take a train up there and see what's up there, see what they add to it. It'd be kind of cool as well if this was all like proper live, like, you know, live price changes and stuff. Maybe one day when the quantum system's fully involved and in. All right. Anyways, we are here. Let's sell. Hull A. 198, so we got it for what, 170 and a half, so yeah, we made like 28,000 say, so it's not too bad, it's not too bad, but there's definitely uh, better ways of making money out there, but I would say, uh, you know, it could be worse, <laughs> it could be a lot worse, but yeah guys, okay, so that's it for this video, thank you so much um, for watching, stay safe, take care, bye!